Hi and welcome to yet again another chemistry lesson. We are looking at chemical energy changes and specifically in this lesson we're looking at the position of the equilibrium. Okay, so what on earth am I talking about? The position of the equilibrium? Well, it's not that difficult. Um, I'll start by just refreshing your memory that equilibrium is when the rate the rate of the forward reaction is equal to the rate of reverse reverse reaction or I'm out of space okay you know what I'm trying to say the rate of the forward reaction is equal to the rate of the reverse reaction so we have a a, a reaction that is reversible which means um, the when the uh, prod the um, reactants create products the products can again react with one another to produce reactants okay or if it was a synthesis a plus b equals c then c can decompose into a and b again that would be a reverse reaction and it can be more complicated than that but uh, uh, and uh, but an important part is that this involved um, uh, one one thing it had to involve is a reverse reaction the second thing it had to um, involve is a closed system okay a closed system which basically just means that none of the products or reactants can escape from the reaction itself so if it is um, if they are gaseous uh, some of the um, uh, compounds then the container is closed so that it cannot escape if it's a um, alternatively if it's liquids or actually more um, accurately if it's aqua solutions then obviously no, none of the liquid is leaving the um, the container where in the reaction is occurring okay so a closed system that is very important now we look at the, um, the, the the equilibrium its dynamic equilibrium is when as this reaction is occurring okay I started with a certain percentage so let's say start and uh, before I say that let me, let me do this and um, we start with a certain percentage starting with um, a percentage of compound A and a percentage of compound B but compound C and D has is zero so for C and D we have zero and zero percent because that's that's how it starts now later on at equilibrium the equilibrium when we reach equilibrium now we've got a different value here okay it's not as high anymore this value has decreased to a different value we have a different value percentage here and then uh, we have a percentage equilibrium I'm just giving it a star to say that's the equilibrium percentage so this one is increasing from zero to whatever percentage from zero to whatever percentage of this product and obviously there can be more products I'm just using a simple explanation now at this point when we reach equilibrium the percentage of compound A and B is not changing anymore it was decreasing up to a point and now it's just staying constant at that percentage it doesn't mean um, there's nothing happening it just means that whatever is happening forward happens in reverse at the same rate okay now we looked at the equilibrium uh, constant the equilibrium constant was the um, it looked like this it was our products okay which is in this case the concentration of our products C and D and again let me do this okay uh, KC is equal to C and D the concentration of the product and whatever coefficients they had let's say N and M in in this so N and M would be there and then that's divided by the concentration of A and B now this is assuming that A B C and D are all either gases or they are um, uh, solutions okay so that when we talk about concentration it actually makes sense and let's say they had S and T okay so we have 
them as exponents all of this if you don't know what I'm talking about please refer to the previous video okay but basically what we are saying is that is that um, uh, this case C is a constant because we're looking at the equilibrium concentrations now if this if we have this if the, these two products add up to more than 50 percent if it's more than 50 percent and let me move this it should make very clear sense to you that if this is more than 50 percent that there's more reactants in this closed system there's more reactants than than products okay and then if there's more reactants than products it's it means that the kc value itself will have a greater denominator than a numerator so the kc value will be less than one if there's more reactants than products that would be if the equilibrium has a greater percentage of uh, concentration of the, the re, um, uh, uh, reactants than products we the, the word we would use or the phrase that we would use in this case is we would say equilibrium equilibrium lies to the left okay what what we mean why we say that is because um, the the majority of the concentration lies towards this side of the reaction okay if however it was different in other words if instead we had that this was greater than 50 percent okay so uh, so our products we have more reactants more reactants sorry more products than reactants sorry okay more uh, products than reactants okay if that was the case then obviously my numerator okay the concentration of c and d would be greater than my denominator which in this case would uh, mean that my kc value will be greater than one and then we would see that the equilibrium lies to the right okay again that simply means that in my equation or in my reaction my closed system i am literally having more of the products in that reaction than i actually have of um uh, uh, of the reactants now why is this important well obviously it depends on what I'm trying to do with my reaction in a closed system if I'm trying to produce the product I am um, in, in other words for example in commercial industry I'm trying to produce a certain product and I have to do it in a closed system but the reaction is a reversible reaction then I somehow want the equilibrium to be to the right I want to favor the forward reaction the reaction that goes in that direction now there is a way in which you can change the circumstances under which the reaction occurs to favor a certain reaction but that I'll keep for the next video so stick around um, but it is therefore then important that you understand what do we mean about the position of the equilibrium it literally means which direction contains the most of the um, uh, the, the the actual um, uh, concentration in the closed system so thank you very much for watching I'll see you in the next video where we will actually look at how these uh, what changes can we make that will affect the position of the equilibrium see you there